Good afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope y'all are excited to go down this path of a, a, a true digital twin here. Um, these are This product right here is one of the ones I love talking about. I'm really excited about this. But uh, the true digital twin, this right here is it. Um, all the information that everybody's been showing here lately, this is where you can bring it all to life. If you have a model, we can do it with the model. If you don't have a model, we can also do this with the laser scan. But what this allows us to do here is we can take any information that you have on an asset and we can actually bring it into this model and touch it from here. So what I wanna do is I'm actually going to select a pump here. And this is more on the owner operator side right here. But when I selected that pump right there, it immediately went out and searched and grabbed every document or every data source that's available to me. And it actually gives it to me right here in one spot. So not only do I get the actual operational information on that pump right here, but I also can bring in other data sources like this SAP data right here. I could visually see that right off the bat. But over on this side, this is every document that is in our system that is associated with that pump right there. Um, one of the things when I'm at shows, I really like to you know, bring this up to people is uh, how long would it take you to actually find a purchase order for that pump right there? And right here is mine. You know, I, I can pull down any of this information within two minutes or less. And this is the latest and most up-to-date information that is possible. Um, which makes it even more exciting. So now when I start getting ready to actually make decisions about things, I can pull this information in and get information. Um, there again, we'll go look at this. One of the things that I like here as well is we also can do photographs with this, not only just live data, static data, but we can also bring in, say, a photograph. <clears throat> and we can actually tag the photograph in here and bring up this information. So if we actually wanted to see what that pump looked like in the field, we could actually do this. And if you notice these boxes that are in here, these are hot spots. So we can actually tag other information in here as well. So if I go to one of these other boxes, I can pull down that information as well. Just come over here, double click, and then there's the documents that I can see right there. So if I wanted to, to tag a photo, I could do this. Laser scan, you can do this. Uh, a lot of customers say that they don't have that model, um, but we can jumpstart that digital twin by actually giving them a laser scan of their asset, which, you know, it's a lot more cost effective to do that way um, if they don't have the model so which is really great but we were talking about the hot spotting if we come in here and let's look at let's look at our PNID I want to come down here find our PNID for this pump it's not only going to bring up the PNID that's associated with it but it's actually going to zoom into the area of the PNID that it's on but there again we have our hot spots in here the same way. Now I can split my view and actually show the 3D model. And if I select any of these hot spots, it's actually going to zoom to it in the model. Now, the back end of this is what we call a VivaNet. And a VivaNet we like to call Google for your project, but it's, it's so much smarter than that. One of the things that you might notice here is on this document, I have a PG tax 603, but over here on the PNID, I have just a PG 603. The system is actually smart enough to look at the attributes behind the scenes and actually tell you that both of those are identical. Without having the tag, if it had a space in there, if it was a zero in, or an O, it would be able to make those differentiators right there. Um, one of the things that I like about this as well is if I'm actually looking at a PNID right here and I want to make some changes or I need to make a plan, I actually can come in here and annotate. I can create a cloud of an area, put a note to it, take a snapshot and actually email it out of here um, to start making my plans, <clears throat> which is a really good tool to have, especially if you're doing design reviews, they're really good. 
Um, now this is more on the owner operator side right here. It can do much more than just the owner operators. If we kind of zoom out a little bit, we'll be able to look at some other things. We have what we call visual queries, okay? Now, everything that you see here is customizable to what your customer wants to see, what's important to them, what information do they want to collect. This is just an example of some things that we can do, okay? Um, so for like on the construction or EPC side, we can actually look at different aspects of our construction, like how many POs are issued, what did we have expedited to the yard? We actually get a visual query of what has been expedited or what our POs are. Um, if we have any kind of logistics issues that we need to look at, we can actually look at that. If we need to have a large crane, we can actually say, you know, these pieces right here, we're gonna need a large crane on site for these. Um, there again, this is just an example. Design state, if we wanted to look at design state, we could actually look at design state. We also can do scheduling. So we can actually look at say Primavera in here and actually see what the status of information is, uh, what our steel work is. Let's see if we go back one. We can actually put days in here. We can put what's finished, what's not finished. If we wanted to see what's in progress, what's late in progress, we could do that. You know, But let's look at what's uh, late and not started here and we can actually filter. So we can actually get a visual query really quick on my project and what is late and not started, okay? And then there again, everything that you see, we can double click right there and actually get any documentation that's associated with it as well. Um, <clears throat> let's go back. This is one I really like right here. If I wanted to come in here and say, look at a manufacturer, a specific manufacturer or a vendor, how many times have your customers ever come in and said, you know, we got something from Apex and we're having problems with their pumps, but how many do we actually have on site? So with this visual query right here, I can very easily, very quickly come in here and be able to tell you where the location of these pumps are, how many we have, and then there again, you get the same functionality of being able to click on one of those and pull down any information that you want associated with that. I really like that tool. I can't tell you how many times I've been on a job and somebody tells me, hey, we ordered the wrong pump or we got the wrong, we got the wrong asset on site. Where do we have them? Where are they located? What systems are they with? We can do this very quickly inside of this right here. Now, what we talked about systems, we actually can come in here and look at systems or subsystems. So we could actually come in here and visually see. Now, the one thing that I like about this part right here is if you're doing any kind of training, okay, we could actually come in here and train new hires on certain systems. They could visually see the system without having to actually go out in the field and we could sit here and show them everything that they needed to know about that system. Same thing, we can come down here and pull down any documents, any information that we needed to know about that system and be able to walk them through that without even taking them out in the field. So that does really good for remote access or hazardous areas that we really don't need to be in, but yet we can do all the training right here visually. Now. Um, one of the other things that I would throw out here is we have the extension feature. Let me turn off our visual query. Let me turn on our extensions. So we could actually get live data. We have the KPI dashboard here where we're actually receiving live data from our asset right here. We also have our Wonderware tag to where we could actually get live data on what's going on with the assets. We could do this, actions. We could raise the work request, we can do an inspection list, and we also can dig into our predictive analytics. So any information that is available out there, we can tie, engage into, and get this visual query with. 
You also can do searching. If we wanted to do JTAC 9002, we start getting a filter, we'll select it, and it'll zoom to where we want it to be at. So there's our asset right there. Uh, some of the other tools, we can do measurements. So if we wanted to measure, like if we know that we have a piece of equipment that's coming in and we need to make sure that we have enough room to be able to put that equipment in, we can start measuring. We also have a walk feature, which we can actually walk through the system. But I love this tool, how detailed it is. We can do this with uh, multiple models, PDMS, uh, E3D, of course, if we needed, um, AutoCAD, we could put AutoCAD in there, uh, Intergraph, any of these models we could use. The, the issues that come with some of these other models is how do we get their data in here? We have what we call gateways, and these gateways actually go through and retrieve that data and bring it into the system for us. But there's our laser scan, and of course in our laser scan, we actually have some 3D modeling in here as well. You can double click on that and actually pull the information as well if you need be. We can take snapshots of certain areas, save it. If we wanted to email it later, we have a new collection right here that we can use. Let's go back to our model and let's go, let's do a reset view. Of course, it's going to do that for me. Everybody loves live demos, right? Just to let everybody know, we had a lightning strike here at the house, um, and it just kind of made everything kind of blink for a minute. Can you see my screen still with the projects? Yeah, we can see your screen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we haven't had rain here in about three weeks and just today it just decided that it was gonna do some raining, so. <laughs> uh, some of the other things that we can do, we can actually do some sectioning through here to where we could actually go inside of the asset and actually look at the equipment And there again, at any time you can select something and pull the information down of what you need. There again, SAP, we have a gateway into SAP. So if we wanted to go into SAP, we could actually load that up. up. Let me go. We have a comment in the chat, Paul, it says go Bama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we will have a season this year. Yeah. Everybody's kind of uh, doubting that right now. Um, but one of the examples of our gateways that we wanted to show here was we could actually go into our SAP system. You know, it could be Maximo, it could be SAP, it could be any of these. Uh, we actually have a filter up here that we could search and say, I want to see just my SAP data. And then there's my SAP link. And this actually goes into SAP. We can tell the system to open up a third party application to where you could start doing work from there. So if you wanted to see any kind of maintenance history on here, we could do that as well. Um, let's see. So there's my maintenance history on this piece of equipment. So having these gateways really opens the doors to being able to go in there and, and retrieve data. Uh, one of our customers, they basically asked us that they want to uh, be able to retrieve any data in their asset within three minutes or less. And this is what we came up with, is a way for them to, to be able to look, feel, touch, and gather information on anything in their asset within three minutes or less. We actually have a couple of oil rigs out in the Gulf right now that are using this system. And I have those demos that you could actually pull up an entire oil platform 
and anything on that oil platform you can go in here and actually select and pull data down with. So if you actually wanted to get a closer look at what this actually looks like, you could do that as well. So if you're looking at a piece of equipment or piping or a system, you could do that. I also put out there to a lot of people that have a lot of inspection information that they have to keep track of. So if I had a lot of inspection data on this pipeline or on UT scans or x-rays or anything like this, this is a wonderful area to be able to go and grab that information and bring it to you. Now, I know they didn't give me a lot of time with this, but is there any questions that we have so far with this? Because I know I kind of dropped through a bunch of information real quick. Hey, Paul, no, it looks good. I don't think we have any questions in the chat right now. Okay. So how am I doing on time? Oh, you're, you're great. You know, uh, we can uh, pass it over to Melanie if you're uh, all wrapped up. Well, like I said, I there's so many opportunities that you can do with Engage. Um, I think they've already told us that they've demoed the AvivaNet process behind this. Um, which I love AvivaNet being able to gather information and bring it in. Um, but having that AvivaNet and the Engage together and being able to see this visually, it's just there's so many opportunities that you can use this for to, to gather information. The visual queries right here, if you actually wanted to come in here and look at by discipline, we could do that as well. If I wanted to say just look at this piping right here, we can actually go in here and actually look at just the piping for that system right there by discipline. There again, we could look at construction data, we can look at operational data, um, we can look at actually design data as it's being designed. So there again, if you're working with a customer that's designing a site, we could actually do product reviews from this tool right here and actually see where they are actually are in their design process and what's working and what's not working. 